hello and welcome to the UTalk quiz. Uh, we'll just wait a few seconds for everyone to enter. Um, so whilst we do that, it would be great if you wanted to just introduce yourself in the chat, say hello, where you're from, uh, maybe even what languages you speak, what talks you've been enjoying at Expo Lingua so far. Um, yeah, and just get yourself ready and uh, prepared for this quiz. Um, it's going to be a fun quiz, uh, a few questions on geography, history, etymology, um, and all different languages from around the world. So I'm um, really looking forward to sharing a few interesting language related facts with you um, and having a lot of fun along the way as well as finding out um, who is the most knowledgeable on languages at Expo Lingua this year. That is something that we're going to find out by the end of this session today. Um, so brilliant to have you with us. We've got uh, Thomas from Berlin, uh, Michele from Italy. Uh, we've got Mickey. he is German and now lives in Spain. Awesome, lovely to have you with us today. Uh, a few other people from Germany, awesome, cool. Um, just something to remember, so um, it's awesome to have you uh, adding comments in the chat and um, would love you to do that throughout, but just make sure that you click to all panellists and attendees, otherwise I am the only one who can see your comments um, and it would be lovely if everyone would be able to see them. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you select in this little drop down box where it says to panelists and attendees. Awesome. So we've got someone from Kazakhstan, someone from Austria, Hamburg, Sarah from Munich. Lovely to have you with us. Someone from Costa Rica. Wow. Fantastic. So great to have you on board. Um, brilliant. Well, as I said, we're going to have lots of fun today. Um, we're going to find out who is the language quiz champion um, and yeah let me just introduce myself and tell you a little bit about me and um, so my name is Emily and I work for a language learning company called UTalk um, we have a, a fun app for learning uh, in excess of 140 languages and you can learn them from any language um, so that's why I'm here today to run this quiz with you because, um, yeah, we have a lot of different languages. So as I said, I'm going to be quizzing you on that. Um, so it would be really helpful if you have your mobile phone because you are going to be using this to actually answer the questions. So if you don't have that next to you right now, I will let you go and grab that before we kick off. And um, yeah. As I said, we'll just wait a little bit longer before we start, just to make sure that everybody who wants to get involved has the chance to jump on. So yeah, fantastic. I've already introduced myself. You guys are introducing yourselves um, in the chat. That's fantastic. Keep on doing that. Um, yeah, we've got someone from Lithuania and someone is asking, is this going to be a Kahoot quiz? Yes, it is. So um, for those of you who are not familiar with Kahoot, um, this is a, a really fun platform uh, and the answers will actually appear on my screen. So in a minute, I will um, share my screen with you. You will see the questions on there, but you will actually use your mobile phone to show the answer. So we're actually going to kick off with a warm up quiz of just six questions. So if you're not familiar with how Kahoot works, then you get the chance to try it out um, before we do the real thing, before we do the official quiz. So brilliant. Hopefully everyone has their mobile phones on them now and everyone is ready and raring to go. Um, excellent. Okay, so let me just share my screen. Here we go. So this is the pin that you need to enter. So if you go to this website, kahoot.it, I recommend that you do that on your mobile phone in your browser. Go to kahoot.it and then just enter this code. 
So the code is, I actually can't see the code. It is a bit obscured by my panel. There you go, 618576. And we've got loads of people entering already. So I will give you a few seconds to get your phone and plug in that pin number. And whilst you do that, let me tell you a bit about the prizes that we have up for grabs today. So there's no prizes for this warm up quiz. As I mentioned before, we're just doing this as a trial to make sure that everyone knows how it works before we do the official quiz. But we have prizes for the official quiz. So um, yeah, you're definitely wanna gonna give this your best shot um, to give yourself the best chance of, of winning these prizes. So the top prize for their number one person is um, access to the Utalk app. As I said before, um, we've got 145 languages on there. So um, the top prize winner will be able to learn all of these languages or as many as they want um, for life. And then the second prize winner, the silver prize winner, will get um, access to 10 languages on the Utalk app. And then the third prize winner, the, the bronze prize winner, will get access to five, five of the languages that we have on there. Um, yeah, so um, I think that we are almost all in and ready to kick off. If anyone has any issues, please uh, write them in the chat so we can get that sorted. We've got lots of people on board this afternoon, that's great. Okay, I think time is of the essence. So without further ado, let's get this rolling. All right, question one, what language is this? That is. Is it Amharic, Armenian, Hindi, or Georgian? Good job, it is indeed Armenian. So this word, Badev, um, I believe it means hello in Armenian. And a lot of you got that really fast. So good job. Question number two. Where is Okitan mainly spoken? Is it Holland, Malaysia, Papua New Guinea, or France? So a lot of you know your stuff. Um, it is indeed France and specifically in the south of France. And did you know that Languedoc, uh, this actually means the language of yes, literally Oc in Occitan, it means yes. I think that's quite a cool language name. Let's see how we're doing on that leaderboard. So David is right at the top there. Um, uh, followed very closely by Maria and Francie. These are all new names that I didn't recognise, didn't see when we ran the last quiz. So it's, it's awesome that we've got some fresh competition here today. But as I say, this is just the warm up quiz. So um, yeah, everyone has plenty of chances still. Okay, so question number three. What is a pie in Spanish? Is it a toe, pie, pen, or a fist? All right. Yeah, that was an easy one. Um, it is a false friend. Tried to trick some of you. I managed to trick some of you with pie, um, but it is indeed a fit. Good stuff. Okay, question number four. How many languages does the European Union have? Is it 24, 
or 28. Good job. Yeah, so despite Brexit, the UK, oh sorry, English will still be um, one of the languages of the EU. So it is indeed 24, not 23. Cool. Okay, so Francie has jumped up to the top spot, closely followed by Susie. Okay, so a couple more questions for our warm up round. Question number five. Which language does the word avocado originally come from? Is it Arabic, Nahuatl, Sanskrit, or Italian? Ah, uh, this one was too easy for you. <laughs> But did you know that this language, this indigenous language, um, is one of the indigenous languages from Mexico? And um, it's actually still very much alive and well today. It's spoken by about 1.7 million people. So um, yeah, we, we have a lot of um, words that have come from, from this language in Mexico. Other words like tomato, chocolate, chili. Um, so that's Nahuatl. Good stuff. Okay, so we've got Susie in first place at the moment, um, closely followed by Maria and Francie in third place at the moment. Um, but let's see how it comes out after this next and final question for our warm up round. Okay, so vodka is the diminutive of the Russian word for wine, the river Volga, alcohol, or water. I think this warm up round was too easy for you. So yeah, it is indeed water. Water is the correct answer. So let's see who our top three players were for this round. So in third place in bronze position, we have Francie, congratulations. And in silver position, we have Maria. So our number one gold medal goes to Awesome. All right, I hope you enjoyed that first warm up round. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. So, are you ready for the official quiz now? We're going to kick that off in, in just a couple of seconds. Um, and this will be slightly longer, so you'll have 13 questions to answer for the next round um, and lots more fun language trivia to learn as well. Um, but just before we kick off our official quiz, um, I just wanted to let you know that um, if you don't manage to grab one of our fantastic three prizes that we have on offer today, um, we have some more chances. So we have um, a prize up for grabs as part of our raffle. I think that my colleague Charlotte will just pop the link in the chat there for our exhibitors page. And um, so you can enter our raffle on there. Um, and the prize that is up for grabs is the same prize as the number one gold prize that we have today, which is access to all of the languages on the Utalk app or 145 languages. Um, so this is definitely a prize that you're gonna want to enter the draw for. Um, and we also have a really special offer for all of you special guys at Expo Lingua, which is 50% off um, any of our languages. So you can grab a really special deal um, if you love languages and you want to learn a um, new language and have a lot of fun doing it. All right, so bear with me one second as I get up our next quiz, our official quiz round. Hope that you are all ready and raring to go. 
So just give me one second to get that set up. And it's on its way, here we go. Okay, perfect. So we've got a new pin for this round. And this new pin is two, three, four, two, two, three, O. Oh. That's two, three, four, two, two, three, O. Oh. Awesome, we've got lots of people coming in. I'll just give you half a minute, just in case you need a bit of extra time to get in there. All right, I think we're almost ready to go. So this is the official quiz this time, so it's serious now. You've got to give it your all to be in the best shot of, uh, for winning a prize because there, the prizes are now up for grabs with this round. Okay, so time is of the essence. So I think we should kick off. So let's do this. The official quiz. All right, question number one. Which stone helped European researchers decipher hieroglyphs? Was it the Philosopher's Stone, the Rosetta Stone, the Stone of Livingstone for Family, or the Cat Stone? Job. It is indeed the Rosetta Stone that you can actually go and see in the British Museum in London. When we're allowed to travel again, of course. Okay, good work, Marcus. First position. Question number two. Which one of these words does not originate from Italian? Soprano, piano, solo, or chocolate? Good job. I gave you guys a huge clue in the warm up round. So I pretty much gave that answer away. And um, that was my mistake, but maybe you knew it already. Okay, moving on to the next question. Number three What is ornithophobia? Is it fear of birds, fear of buttons, fear of spiders, or fear of technology? you knew this I'm I'm super impressed um yeah so it, it comes from the root um ornis which is from ancient Greek so that's where that one comes from okay Marcus is way up there and Susie as well cool see if anyone can knock them off the top top three question number four what does soul mean in Korean? Heart, city, capital, or soul? Yeah, it does indeed mean capital. So very logical, that one. Ah, David is creeping his way back up. All right. Question number five. How do you say yes in Greek? Is it arakalo, oki, ne, or signomi? Nice. It is indeed nay, which does catch some people out sometimes because it sounds like no, um, but actually it means yes. 
All right. Oh, you guys are doing so, so well. I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, yeah, it's all to play for. Okay, question number six. Which one of the following is edible? Veras, Azir, Ubad Gigi, or Saliji? Good job, it is indeed Veras. So Veras actually means rice. Um, and I don't know if my Malaysian colleague is watching right now, but I just realised I did pronounce one of the words wrong, so I'm very sorry. Ubat gigi, I think, is the correct pronunciation. This actually means toothpaste, so you definitely do not want to try eating that. Um, and then we also have pasir. This is sand, also not very tasty. Um, and saliji is snow, not something that they get very much of in Malaysia. Um, but there you go. For anyone who is interested in learning some Malay, we actually have a taster session tomorrow that my Malaysian colleague Brian will be running at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, so if you're interested in that, we would love to see you there. Good stuff. So let's see how we're doing on that leaderboard. Oh, Susie has jumped up there to first place. Good job, Susie. All right, let's move on to our next question, number seven. What are the official languages of NATO? Is it English and French, English and German, Spanish and German, or Russian and English? stuff it is indeed English and French um, I feel like this quiz has been too easy for you because you're scoring so so well um, but don't forget it's also about the speed of your answer not just um, if it's right or not so yeah um, awesome I think this is surprising that there are only two because there's I think 30 countries that are part of NATO um, but there you go it is indeed English and French Top three and non-movers there. Come on, let's mix it up and see if anyone can knock them off. Still got a few questions. So number eight, Afrikaans belongs to which one of these language families? Afro-Asiatic, Indo-European, Anti or Baltic? Aha, uh -huh. Indo-European it is. Very similar to Dutch. All right, let's keep this rolling. Question nine. Which one of the following words originally comes from Hindi? Kofi, brother, hug, or island? That's right, it is thug. So that question was a bit harder, it seems. Um, yeah, the question's gonna be a bit harder from here on out until the end. So there's all to play for. Let's check our leaderboard. Okay, so Ricardo has jumped up and is now in third position. Let's see if he can make his way all the way to the top and win the golden prize. Question number 10. In Esperanto, nouns always end with which letter? O, A, I, or L? Fantastic, it is indeed O. And I believe that adjectives always end in A. 
So this is the handy thing about learning a conlang or constructed language, um, very formulaic. So yeah, a lot of you knew that already. Very impressive. Um, awesome. So Susie is well up there. But will she win the golden prize? Let's find out. Question number 11. Chichewa is spoken in Zambia, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, and Mali, Suriname, Ecuador, or Malawi. Aha, uh -huh, it's Malawi. You guys really know your stuff. Um, amazing. Thought these questions were going to get harder, but maybe not. You guys are just too good. Okay, so still got a couple more questions left. I think everyone is doing really, really great. It's question number 12. How many official languages does the USA have? Is it zero, one, four, or seven? Wow, you even answered that before the time. Um, yeah, that's right. There are actually no official languages of the USA, um, even though about 430 languages are represented, spoken in the USA. Um, it actually does not have an official language um, and neither does Australia for that matter, actually. So yeah, um, okay, let's check out that leaderboard. All right, so Susie is our non-mover. Um, shout out to Susie, you're doing incredibly well. Um, followed by David and Maria is up for third position at the moment. Um, but this could all change in our final, final question. Um, I've saved the best one till last. So let's move on to our last question. Good luck. So this means Kung Fu in Chinese, but what does Kung Fu mean in Korean? Does it mean working, studying, sleeping, or fighting? Excellent, it does, it means studying. Um, we've obviously got some Korean speakers in the house or people who are just very, very good with their false cognates. Um, yes, okay. So let's check out our leaderboard and see who our top three prize winners are. Okay, so in third position for our bronze award, we have Maria. Good job, Maria. Second place, we have David, congratulations. And in first place, we have Susie. Congratulations, Susie. Um, awesome. Well done. I think that actually everyone did so, so well. Um, yeah, thank you so much for coming. And I hope that you learn some new things um, and just have fun with other people who love languages as much as you do. Um, if you did win a prize, then please email me. Uh, oh, it's the side, emily at utalk.com and I will get those prizes on their way over to you. And we will also publish our leaderboard on um, our Facebook page. So make sure that you follow us on Facebook um, if you'd like to see how you ranked overall. And remember, if you didn't get into that top three, if you didn't win a prize this time, you still have the chance to win a prize. Um, just head over to our exhibit exhibitors page on Expo Lingua um, and do make sure that you enter our prize draw to be in the chance of winning um, that fantastic prize of 145 languages um, on our app. It's a lot of languages. <laughs> Awesome. Um, and as I mentioned as well, we also have a really special offer, especially for you, which is 50% off um, our app. Again, you can find that on our exhibitors page um, and other information there. Like I said, we've got another session tomorrow for Learning Malay at 11 in the morning. Um, so if you're interested in that, then we would be delighted to see you there. 
And if you enjoyed today and you enjoyed the quizzes, um, you might like to sign up for some special email alerts for some other events that we run at UTalk in the future. Um, we do quite a few live events and um, it would be lovely to see you guys another time um, for, for other language fun um, talks and quizzes and prizes and other things. Um, fantastic and yeah just love to stay in touch so you have my email here and um, it would be lovely to hear from you if you have any comments or questions please do not hesitate to to get in touch. Um, yeah we also do work with schools, language schools, businesses and um, we also do some work with affiliates so if that's you I would love to hear from you Um yeah please do get connected with us. All right. Um, one final thing to mention that um, some members of the UTalk team are available throughout Expo Lingua. So if you would like to chat with us face to face, um, we would also be really, really happy to do that. Um, yeah, we would love to love to connect with you. Um, so yeah, just enjoy the rest of the conference. Enjoy the rest of Expo Lingua. Um, and thank you again so much for joining me for this half an hour. Um, it was a lot of fun. I hope you had as much fun as I did. All right, and thank you so much for your comments in the chat. Um, yeah, you're so welcome. It was it was a lot of fun. So until next time, bye.